Well, hello. It's kind of a cold and rainy Sunday afternoon, so I figured what better time than now to film a video of my Nordstrom sale haul. You can kind of spot them behind me. And I'm freezing right now, but I'm probably going to get really hot trying everything on. So this should be super duper fun. This is the before satin robe fuzzy slippers. Here's a little sneak peek of what's to come. Got everything lined up from lingerie, activewear, um, some tops and sweaters, denim and pants, some skirts, cozy sweaters, dresses, a few coats, a really fun hat, and some shoes to share as well. I went ahead and set out just a couple under undergarments to talk about super quick. These two are by Chantel. They are the high waist brief. So I got in black and nude and they come up really high on your tummy, but they're one size fits all. The seam is totally covered up and it's um, really disappears underneath your clothes. This is the undetectable push-up plunge bra and I found the band to be a little bit looser and the cup size to be a little bit smaller. So I actually ended up completely sizing up one if not two cup sizes for myself. It's really nice because the back is a little bit thicker which gives you just a little bit more support, but how beautiful is this lace? And the straps can crisscross. The lace really covers up any discrepancy you might have between your own cup sizes. So it can kind of hide a little bit and it has a nice bit of boost, a little cushion for those special tops. The bra I have been living in and loving ever since picking it up is this one by Chantel. It's super low profile. Again, the lace is very forgiving if you happen to have girls who are sisters, not twins. I love the little ring detail on both of these. It's just so fresh and modern and elegant. And again, it has a little bit of a thicker back, which really helps cover up any uh, problem areas you might have. Last but not least is this Free People Bralette. Have this in black. I actually already have it in white as well, but picked this one up during the sale and it's a, such a great layering piece. The straps are super delicate and um, it's a fun little peekaboo with certain off the shoulder tops or lower V cut things. Look number one is a little bit of activewear for you today. This is from Alo Yoga. And when I saw this was in the sale, I was so pumped. I actually already own the top and the pants in black. And so picking them up in blue sounded perfect. I had the top in a small, I went ahead and sized up to a medium. It's so much easier to get over your head with this high neck collar. It's really strappy in the back. So there's lots of give. I practiced many a yoga class in this and it feels really good. I love that it's a sports bra, but it's a longer line. So there's very little belly exposed, which is great. The pants have a super high rise. This is actually not the highest rise that they have in these moto leggings. The black ones that I have come up even an inch or two higher, which is lovely, but this is enough. And I've got these on today with some Adidas Ultra Boost sneakers, and I can't tell you how squishy and delicious these feel. I've been wearing some low profile running sneakers for a while now, and these are like, it feels like a cloud. So I'm super excited to take an actual run on a treadmill at a gym someday in these shoes. So I threw on a little sweater on top of my athleisure wear. This is a sweater from All Saints. It actually came in a two piece set. It comes with a green like bias cut slip dress. And I love that it was a set that you could break up and use so many different ways. So this is the sweater over this. I love that it's a little bit cropped longer in the back has this really fun slit. You can pull the sleeves up, cuff them if you want to. There's lots of options with something like this. And I love black and gray tones with blue. Here's another combo. This top is from Beyond Yoga. Their fabric is super silky and soft though. So I'm loving this. 
Again, a little bit of gray with the blue. It has some really cute uh, straps in the back with a teardrop shape. Got some more yoga athleisure apparel for you. This is another Beyond Yoga. I loved about the pants is of course the super high rise and then this V is just super flattering. I think you could wear this with a bunch of different types of black sports bras to really show it off. Even a little bit shorter might be good. And I've got this look paired with some Nike sneakers. These feel really good. They've got a really fun like bubble kind of thing happening back here. I would definitely say size up. Typically, I'm an eight and a half in regular shoes, size up to a nine in sneakers. These are actually a nine and they feel a little bit tight. Um, I tried to get my hands on a nine and a half and they just, they just don't have them. So I ended up using a shoe stretcher for a couple days and they feel great. So that's always a solution to keep that in your back pocket. I went ahead and just tossed on a super cozy sweater on top of this athletic look. This is a really chunky sweater from Free People. I would say it's true to size. I got a medium. You could size up, you could size down, whatever fits your prerogative for how you want to style a really thick knit like this. I love it because it's more of an open um, stitching and so it's super breathable. So if you live somewhere hot, it's a great way to wear a sweater, but still have some circulation. Got on some frame denim for you today. This is kind of the mom jeans style, ironically with like some dad shoes, but it works. Mom and dads can be cool too. I would say mm, the jeans true to size or maybe size up. They're non-stretch denim. They have a super high rise, which is great, but there is no give, no stretch. So I went ahead and got a size 30 in these. I'm kind of between a 29 and 30. I went ahead and paired this light wash denim with this super cute top. I love the ruffles, super fluttery sleeves. This top comes in a bunch of different colors. I just thought this print was really classic. It kind of reminds me of like the Chinese ginger jars, that sort of thing. So I did a little front tuck with this. It has buttons back here. You can tuck your hair in if you want a different look, flip it out, whatever you want to do. Um, sometimes with tops like this too, it looks great to have your hair totally back in a sleek little knobby. Got this look through on a jacket. This is cut from the cloth. It's super buttery soft. I love the quilted detail here on the sleeve and the shoulders. It has a little bit of light padding in the shoulders, which is nice. Gives you a little bit of structure. Moto jackets have been going strong for years and honestly, they're not going anywhere. So this uh, shade of kind of like a fawn brown, is just gonna be super useful and neutral and super cute. And then I jazzed up the mom jeans with some heels. These are by Vince Camuto. They're a nice little square toed booty, which is great. Um, it freshens it up, gives it a little modern spin. Love the deep V. They're going to be so useful and they're really comfortable. True to size, easy on and off with the zip. This hat is giving me life. This was number one on my wish list back in, when was that? July, July 24th, when they first released all the things. Saw it, fell in love, ordered it day one. Problem is, I ordered it in size large and it was huge. It totally swallowed my head. So then sold out, had to hunt it down like a fighter. And I did eventually hunt it down. So I'm so excited to wear this. I think it's gonna look darling with some white or cream boots or booties. It's really bright and fresh, has a little bit of snake detail, but it's still neutral. It's not too over the top. So I'm loving it, so cute. So I'm about to try on this Rails top for you, but I thought I would show you one of my favorite ways to wear a Rails top, and that's simply tied around your waist as a belt. Okay, here I've got this Rails top on. So soft, so comfy, size up. This is a large, I tend to be medium. I have a medium and a Rails top too, works fine, but I love that this just like swoops back on the shoulder a little bit more. There's a lot of options for how to wear the top. I just kind of got the half half tuck going on here, but you could also easily do a little knot in the front as well. Gives a different look, has a pretty little scoop in the back. And then I have this really pretty necklace on, I think it's pronounced Gorjana. I really don't know, but um, it's nice because it's adjustable. There's a little bead, I don't know if you can see in the back. Just tossed on a little slim belt 
with this chunky sweater layered over the rails top. Kind of gives a different look, but it's really nice that everything can be mix and match. And there's a lot of options when you really start just kind of thinking about it. Look at this darling little ring. This is by Monica Venator. It's like a friendship style ring, so it's totally adjustable. I am loving it on my thumb, but you can put it on any of your fingers, so it gives a lot of versatility. They have gold, silver, rose gold. I wear mostly yellow gold, so I thought this would be great. This is a free people bodysuit. I love the drape on it. It has a really pretty sheen to it also. This is like a ballet pink kind of mixed with nude color, so it sang to my heart. They also have it in a gorgeous green. If I could get my hands on that, I would, but I can't yet. It's still sold out. So, got it nice and tucked in into the high-rise jeans from Frame. And underneath, I've got a little bandeau bra top. And so with this kind of thing, it's kind of nice. If it shows a little skin, that's okay. But you can also keep it pretty covered up. Um, I love a Y-style necklace with this type of neckline. I just think it's really flattering. And um, the silver is kind of nice with the warmth of this particular shade. Here I've thrown on this gorgeous vegan leather blazer on top of a super casual look. And man, it really takes it from day to night. Threw on some comfy, like Victorian style naturalizer booties, boots. I don't know what you would call these, but they lace up have a zip on the side so they're really easy to get in and out of. And this blazer is so, so good. It looks like kind of the real deal, but it's not. I just love the tailoring of it and it's really streamlined and different. I don't have anything like it. So it stood out to me for sure. Um, for a bag, actually, this is probably the very first thing I ever got from a Nordstrom anniversary sale a few years ago. And I've loved it ever since. Rebecca Minkoff, she usually has some cute stuff. Love the tones, warm chocolatey browns in the fall, so good. Got some really tall boots. I love mixing different tones of brown. So as you can see, the boot, the skirt, the belt, they're all a little different, but they kind of jive. And again, the suede with the regular leather is good. This is by Theory, nice little pencil skirt. It has a little bit of a sound to it, but I think it'll be all right. Life is noisy, so it should be fine. And then cinch the waist with a little belt, free people bodysuit. Oh, and a couple different necklaces. Um, I think these are both by Gorjana. Um, I love this little mother of pearl one beside the Tanner Bar Y necklace. And I think there's a lot of versatility in all of these things together and separately. Here I have thrown over this super cute shirt jacket from BB Dakota. Again, just love the pinky tones mixed with brown, but then you can see it has these really nice gray gunmetal buttons. And um, I love this jacket, it has pockets, and I can't wait to show you all the different things you can do with this jacket. But this is one example of putting something that's super sleek and tailored, but then kind of grunging it up with a coat top like this. So when I go shopping, I love to buy pieces that I know guaranteed I can wear multiple different ways. This dress is no exception. So here I've got a pair with these over the knee boots. This dress is so silky and comfy and the color is everything. And I just love the drape that it gives. I've got this gorgeous dress, so liquidy and beautiful, paired with some super casual Veja sneakers. Um, I love the burgundy tone with them. I think you could do any white sneaker and it would be super cute, but this is a great example of how to take a dress and use it daytime and nighttime. Here I've got on these key sunglasses. They've got this gorgeous kind of tortoise outline and a nice little fade. The neckline on this dress is so flattering. It's very square, fresh, and modern and um, shows off the whatever pendant you have for the day. I've got the same BB Dakota shirt jacket over this gorgeous burgundy dress. The tones totally work together. And I think you might think it doesn't go, but that's kind of when the real magic happens. If it doesn't go, it totally works. So jacket, shoes, super casual, dress, kind of fancy, and somehow it all works beautifully together. Got this gorgeous dress by Bash on. Yes, I still have the tags on. I'll get to those later. But I just think this is so stunning. I love to pick out something for holiday during the Nordstrom sale. 
then we are good to go. Done and done. I have some gold crocodile type shoes that are going to pair perfectly with this, but I kind of like the darkness of these boots with it as well. I think it keeps it really modern and fresh. The waist is very forgiving. It's got this nice mocking in the back. And then I just love the buttons up front. So, so pretty. I think it's gonna be really useful. Throw on that theory black vegan leather blazer on top and you are holiday ready. Went ahead and put this gorgeous fitted tailored black vegan leather blazer on top of this gorgeous shiny metallic floral number. I love florals in the fall that have some darkness with them. It's a great way to think about even using your spring dresses year round, throw on a white dress with all sorts of flowers and some black hose and you're good to go. This dress is so pretty. I love that the lines on it are very uh, vertical. So it's very slimming, even though you don't think of a floral as being very slimming, but somehow this one is. I've got this gorgeous olive green slip dress by All Saints. It is cut on the bias and really wraps around and hugs your body. You can definitely throw on some spanks underneath and you know, that's probably what I would do. But just for a quick try on, here you go. I've got this darling little free people bralette underneath so it just peekaboos out just enough. A little something something. I love the straps in the back. And this dress is part of a two-piece set. It comes with a little gray sweater on top, which I'll show you up next. Here is the two-piece set together, the All Saints sweater and slip dress combo. This is so super comfy and will keep you really warm. So this is a great dress because you can really wear it year round. The sweater is actually not itchy. It's pretty soft. I love the slits in it. I think it's going to be really fun with a lot of things. And yeah, you're kind of like edgy, but soft and satiny all at the same time. Y'all, the possibilities with this dress are absolutely endless. Look how cute it is paired with some sneakers, layered a top underneath with a little peekaboo of lace uh, bra popping out. Super casual for day. You could glam it up for night if you wanted to, but I love the juxtaposition of something super sporty with the very feminine. And you can even throw on a really cute hat like so. Here I've got this same All Saints sweater, just tie this little belt, totally defines your waist, covers up your booty, which actually can be kind of helpful with these satin silky materials if you don't feel like wearing spanks that day. This skirt is from Free People. This blushy pinky mauve color is so pretty. It's really comfortable. It is cut on the bias. It can show some lumps and bumps, but you know what? Just roll with it. Camouflage is necessary and draw attention to your neckline with your sleeves, hair back, necklace, whatever, a bulb lip. Okay, I've got a couple things to show you in this look. I finally took the Stuart Weitzman plunge in the ubiquitous over the knee boots. I could not be happier. They are absolutely true to size. They've got this cute little tie in the back, which is definitely a trademark of the boot. The leather is from Spain and they are to die for. They're everything that I was hoping for and they will last an absolute lifetime. They're perfect with these rag and bone jeans, which I feel like are pretty true to size. I got my true size 29 in these. I love the wash on these. It is so nice, somewhere between a gray and a blue. What I love about this particular top is where the blouse and sleeve kind of hits. It's close to your waistline, so it's gonna help just define your waist and give you some extra shape. And the material on this is actually super duper thin. So you can throw this under a blazer or a jacket and it's not too glossy, which a lot of tops like this get that way. So you can even push the sleeves up when you're doing the dishes and still be good to go. Loving it. Um, I think it's fun to put a little black bra under something that's kind of light. It's really sexy, but you're still covered up. I went ahead and threw on this blazer over this outfit so you could see even with something super duper tailored. The sweater just disappears right underneath and gives you another really polished look. Could definitely take this out for cocktails after work and beyond. Got another pair of rag and bone denim on. These are true size 29, I believe. They have a super high rise, a really straight leg, a nice dark wash, and the distressing is perfect for where we are in fashion. They're just cut off at the ends and nothing else. 
So I think you're gonna see more and more of that high-waisted, straight leg, less distressing as we roll into 2021, which the Lord knows we're all ready for. I just got this up here with a simple little cami. I believe this is halogen. This one's way too big. I have a smaller one on its way. So these tags are definitely staying on still, but it's really cute. And I think it'd be great with like a black cardigan on top, white, brown, anything. It's really a pretty neutral outfit. For shoes, I went ahead and put on these really fun Ugg slippers. They could not be more comfortable. And I love that they're a neutral slipper. I wear slippers all day, every day. And sometimes the brightness of some of my other slippers is too much for my outfit. And this, even though I'm home, I like feel like I match and really love that about this look. Um, it's kind of fun to have a little peekaboo bra shown through sometimes, just gives it a little bit of dimension. And this is great for working from home, throw on a blazer, you have a Zoom call and you're good to go. Okay, for this look, I have a super duper oversized boxy tee on with the same rag and bone jeans. This tee comes in a couple different colors. I sized up in it because I really wanted the length. It's going to be big no matter what size you get, so it's kind of like, let's play that up a little bit. It looks great front tucked or just out, let it be free, super comfortable. I brought out these Spanx faux leather leggings to show you because I would definitely wear these two together tight pants, really baggy shirt, super comfy. Have another pair of Ugg slippers on. These are just a nice kind of nude neutral color. They'll match everything. They feel so cozy and warm as the temperature starts to drop. And yeah, could not be more comfortable. These are so fun. These are some Nike, like super wide leg, Palazzo style sweatpants. They feel like a dream, but they actually give you a lot of shape because they're so super high. Have it paired with this basic tank from Target. This is a good go-to. I love anything with the high neck that shows off the shoulders. Don't forget to put a little glow on there. This feels like a dream and you look pretty sophisticated all at the same time. So this is a win-win. You can pair any slippers with this outfit and be good to go. So I wanted to show you how something like this shirt jacket could really be used in a different way. Here I'm wearing it as a dress kind of sassy, belted, got some over the knee boots. You could easily throw on some leather leggings underneath for extra warmth and coverage. But how cute is this? And it's just a basic jacket. Try and think of multiple ways to use one item because there are so many other things that you can do with what you already have if you just, you know, accessorize.